Hi, this is Mike. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be looking at um, Remind. Uh, it used to be Remind 101, now it's just Remind.com. I'm going to be looking at two things. One is um, how to set up an account, and the second thing is how to embed the widget. Um, what I found in this con um, current situation is that kids often get kicked off their network or um, they get sometimes a little bit lost uh, with what's going on. Uh, maybe they uh, their computer's not working, whatever. Um, but most of our students have devices, um, meaning their phones um, that they can look up content um, on. And by them signing up on Remind, um, you can deliver messages straight into their phone um, without giving up your own phone number, by the way, and not seeing their phone number. So it's basically like a third party service that transfers messages that you send to them and they can send message individually back to you. Um, it's a great way to keep your number safe um, and to communicate with your kids. So. Without further ado, here we go. So what you need to do is go to remind.com and uh, this page will show up and then you sign up and then make sure you sign up with Google. Um, and then once you sign up with Google um, and just put in all of your particulars, um, it will show up something like this. Um, what you do is you create classes and then you invite those students to class. Um, and then they, what they do is they sign up with their phone number and then once they sign up with their phone number, um, then you will be able to communicate with them. So as you can see, like I've set up a bunch of messages for my boys and girls golf, um, and I'm able to communicate with them. This is especially important with uh, sport if you're a coach, um, because you're not always going to be able to get in contact with your kids via email. Um, and you don't really want them to have your number. So if you use remind.com, you just sent out send out um, a message. So for example, today, I was just informed that all practices are canceled because of air quality. I was able to send out um, a notice that there is an air quality alert. So all my kids will be on Zoom um, instead of at practice um, for golf today. So uh, basically what you do is um, you can put the link um, on a widget, which is the next thing that we're going to do that actively and live updates on your um, on your canvas um, so basically once you set up your account um, you now you need uh, kids to be able to go to that account um, before we move on you can see that each account um, has a code and you can see my code is right up here at the top you have uh, messages that you can send uh, files um, that you can um, that you've put in so these are um, basically files that you've uploaded in a convenient list um, then people you can add people uh, basically, if you do it this way and you click add people, um, you can just add people in by hand. You can also add parents and then other teachers to the course. Um, then the last thing, settings. Okay. Um, and basically, um, you, there's a couple of different settings. Um, basically, you can manage how people communicate with each other. You can have one-way messages where all that happens is you send messages out to kids. I have it set up to where all participants in the class can message each other. Um, this is good if the kids want to get together and practice and things like that. Um, so basically, um, kids are, um, they can use this code to sign up. Um, and uh, the way that I chose to do it is just a little bit different. Um, I'm going to go to my, um, my Canvas. And I'm going to go to my golf page. And you can see that here is my... <clears throat> um, this is my widget that I installed on my homepage. So um, you can see today is Tuesday, 1027. Zoom today and join Remind for the couple of kids that haven't already done it. And the cool thing here is that they can join the class directly from the widget. So you, you really don't need to do anything except um, get the kids to navigate themselves to your Canvas homepage and then uh, join classes um, through there. So um, now the, the tricky part is getting this widget onto your homepage. So what you need to do um, is once you sign up, let's uh, get in here again. So once you sign up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to your, um, to your name up in the upper left-hand corner, and you're gonna go to account settings, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to um, get a widget we can place in Canvas. So we click on widgets and you'll notice that a, an embed code comes up. The only problem is, is that Canvas does not, in, um, it does not work with scripts. It only works with iframes. It's just fancy computer terms with how Canvas is reading 
um, what's going on. Okay, so you can see that this is a script. And so um, I did a little bit of research and I was able to find a converter. So um, this is the, uh, the link that I included in the email. And that's this um, from a, I think it's a private school or something like that. But this one worked for me. Um, it says convert the script snippet, uh, remind gives you an iframe. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure, this is super important, is pick the class that you're going to embed. Um, I made the mistake of doing all classes so everybody in, in my boys and girls golf and my other classes were getting um, all, of the message, all, um, all of the messages all at once, I don't want that. So let's say I just wanted one for my boys and girls golf, click it, copy the script, okay? And then come up here to the website link that I included in the email and then paste it in and then click convert. Okay, so I'll go through the steps again. Go to your name in the upper left hand corner, go to account settings, go to widgets. Okay, change the class to the particular class you want the widget to appear in, copy, and then go to the link that I provided and then paste that into the large box that's towards the top of the page. Then click convert, okay? Then copy the item. You can just copy embed code, okay? So we're going to make sure that that's copied and then we're gonna go back to um, the, the page that you want, your home page, And then it's simple from there. You just go edit, okay? And then insert, embed, and then you paste the embed code in like that, okay? I'm not gonna do it because I already did it, but once you click uh, submit, then what'll happen is your widget will pop up just like this, and then every message that you send out will pop up on your homepage and on the device that the, um, that the student signed up with. So they'll get it here and they'll get it on their phone, uh, which is great because not always um, kids have access to Wi-Fi, so this is gonna use their phone, you know, LTE or, or whatever, their three or four G. Um, so that's a great way to get in contact with kids. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Um, the link to the conversion uh, form uh, is in this email below. And then, um, yeah, call me if you have any uh, questions or email me.